Yo, what's up, guys? Saints fan here. Welcome back to another episode of Fashion on Friday. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, if you watched my previous video, I got banned on the PC. So I'm I'm gonna try and get that either fixed or, or something because I obviously don't want it to affect Fashion Friday next week. But do know that like I have all the cool outfits and everything bought on the PC. So next week might be a little bit different when it comes to fashion friday anyway though if you do have an outfit you want to submit for next week's episode you can either tweet it at me with a picture or you can leave it in the comment section i'll do the whole uh leave a comment underneath like leave a reply to my comment because that seemed to work really well moving into this week's outfits though the first one we have is just amazing it's marty mcfly like come on and it's super easy to make you need a viper utility bomber with a red shirt underneath it for the bottom go with the light blue fitted jeans and then the ice high top sneakers for the hair i think i went with like the you know you can see the hair i don't know what it's called in the game but it's like the longish hair the hair is not like 100 it's probably the closest you're gonna get but this outfit looks incredible i'll put up the picture you can see it compared to his from the movie it looks almost identical and look if you like that movie come on like how do you not like marty mcfly this is this is an awesome outfit, super easy to make, super fun, and that's why it's the first one in this video. Next up, we have two from The Walking Dead, and look, I'm not gonna lie, and I know a lot of you guys follow me on Twitter and, and like The Walking Dead and stuff, that finale was super disappointing. I am still upset at it, but you can't deny the fact that Negan, the guy who plays Negan, JDM, was absolutely incredible. Like, if they would have just shown who they killed, That'd have been so worth it, but instead they didn't. I don't and like I don't know why. This outfit though is Negan, and it's another fairly simple one. Not too much going on here. To make it though, put the full black leather jacket with a red shirt underneath it. For the bottom, I went with the worn black regular fit jeans and then black scruffy boots, just because zombie apocalypse. You kind of think it's worn down a little bit. And then for the accessories, black leather gloves. Although, like in the comics and in the show, he only has a glove on one hand. You can't do that in GTA, which kind of sucks. And then obviously the weapon of choice is a baseball bat. Uh, and then for the hair, you can go with the short brushed black hair. And then facial hair is kind of up to you because in the comics, I'm pretty sure he's clean shaven. Yet in the in the show, he has uh, some stubble or some, you know, some sort of beard going on. So you can make it, you know, however you want. But the outfit itself definitely looks like him. And considering he is a pretty badass character, you know, if you want to be a bad guy in GTA, here you go. Alternatively, if you want to be a good guy in GTA from The Walking Dead show or, or comic book uh, series, you can be Jesus. And to make this one, you are going to need the face bandana glitch. But to start, put on the navy untucked shirt underneath a black wool coat. For the bottom, go with black heights pants with black scruffy boots. And then accessories, we are going to put on a gray saggy beanie. And then it's up to you whether or not you want the desert face bandana or the gray bandana. Like in the show and in you know the picture I'll show, he has the uh, like a whitish color, but we don't really have a white face bandana. The closest you can get is the desert one. Apart from that, though, put on black leather gloves with the surfer dude hair, a trimmed beard, and then ocean blue contacts. It's as close as you're gonna get to Jesus. It's not like 100%, but as you can see from the comparison here, it's really similar and like like i said if you want to have something alternative to negan i've done a rick in the past i think i've even done a daryl and some other female characters from the walking dead but now we have jesus one of the new and pretty cool characters and then last for the male characters this one is one of the coolest uh military outfits and before you even say anything this one is not black or gray which is amazing although you are going to need the militia one uh, and, and potentially the Militia 2 outfit. But this is from James, and it's the BF3 US Engineer. That's what he was basing it off of. To make it, though, start with the Ash Tuck shirt, put on standard body armor, and then have the Militia 1 scarf. For the bottom, go with the Militia 1 pants with the black work boots. And then for the accessories, we're going to go with the black watch, black wool gloves, the LCD earpiece, a scruffy beard, ocean blue contacts, and the Militia 2 hat. The, the way you can get the Militia 2 hat, you make the outfit, and then you save it, and then you go ahead and equip the Militia 2 uh, outfit, like with the, the uh, sort of tan or beige hat, and then you do the motorcycle glitch, where you hop on the motorcycle, wait till your guy puts the helmet on, then you hop off, and then right as he takes the helmet off, you switch back to the saved outfit, and the Militia 2 hat will glitch on to your saved outfit. So you can have Militia 1 stuff with the Militia 2 hat. Sounds complicated, but it's really simple to do. Once everything's said and done, though, this outfit looks amazing. It's probably one of my new favorite military outfits just because it's got the, the tan or the beige 
theme going on, not just a black or gray like a lot of the other ones do. I still don't know why we don't have these options like as is in the game without glitching bodyguard stuff, but if you do want a cool and, and different looking military outfit, then there you go. Get into this week's female outfits. We have some pretty damn awesome ones. So this first one, uh, unfortunately, they just tweeted a picture of it, but not like what is included. Although you can kind of see what's included. This is the Day Z female character, and it looks pretty damn awesome. Like I, I almost wish uh, we could do something similar to that uh, for our male characters. But you got the. Uh, it looks like the charcoal combat pants with the red leather jacket. You got brown like gloves on with the standard armor underneath the jacket. For the top, you got the uh, the flat cap with the gas mask. Pretty cool looking, especially if you do like Daisy or like those apocalyptic characters. This next one we have from Sonic Speed. This one is the cowgirl. Pretty cool. You can see everything is on the screen right now. As you can tell though from the bottom, you are going to need the Traffickers 1 cowgirl boots. So similar to how you do the bodyguard stuff for the men, do that for the females if you want that outfit. And then last but not least, we have the forest fighter. And I, th and I thought this was a pretty fun one to use if you're a female character. You can see all the stuff on the left side. And uh, there's two pictures here, one of the top and then one of the bottom. Nice camo themed uh, outfit, I guess. But anyway, that is it with this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content in these every single Friday. Again, if you do have an outfit you want to submit, just go into the comment section. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. And as always, it's your boy Saints for the Mouths. Peace.